Miami Dolphins team is, is, is has really started to take off under Brian Flores. But, I, you know, I understand what Brian Flores is, is doing right now. You know, so, so many times we want to be quick to throw these rookie, you know, these top pick quarterbacks out there. Mm -hmm. But Ryan Flores basically said, you know what? Yes, he's been cleared medically, but he's not ready, okay? We want to put him, we want to put Tua in in the most advantageous situation. Here you got the Miami Dolphins team. They're playing good on offense, defense, and it's the perfect environment for your young quarterback to possibly thrive in, so I give him a lot of credit for that. Uh, Dominique, I wanted to ask you, you and I talked about this a little beforehand. Right. I know you hadn't had a chance to see it, now you have. What was your reaction to what he said? I mean, it was honest, it was real, it was painful to watch, honestly, but I think we get so used to our athletes going back in the locker room and putting on their lie face and coming out and telling us all these lies that we want to hear. He didn't have time to do that or he didn't care to do it. He was honest, and you don't get to this level without being competitive, without being passionate, and without being hurt when, it, when you feel like you've been wronged. And he certainly has a reason to feel like he's been wronged in this. He's been playing well. You don't lose your job when you're playing well, even if there's a plan around it. And I understand what D. Wood is saying, and I agree. I think this is the right move for Brian Flores, but that doesn't mean that there's not some collateral damage along the way, and that sucks for, um, for Fitz because he's playing well. And, and maybe part of it, Lewis, is, and Brian Flores says he's going to apologize to his team for this, that this got out into the media before he, the coach, was able to tell the players. So the team found out that the change was being made from reporters, like, like from ESPN, et cetera. Lewis, what does that mean, and what, and what is that problem with there? Yeah, it's because you, you don't want to find things out that way, obviously. I mean, you want your coach to be someone who breaks the big news to you like this, gives it to you straight, gives you, gives you the entire story before you hear bits and pieces of it or hear, you know, just sound bites about what's going on with it or see your quarterback, who has played some of the best football that he has played in his, in his career, go on and give you a very emotional statement about how he feels as though his heart is hurting and that he, you know, he, he just doesn't quite understand why he's being why he's being taken out of the lineup. And, and Brian's a stand-up guy, and, and you know he's going to rectify this with his football team, and he wasn't trying to deceive him in any way. But you definitely can understand what Ryan Fitzpatrick is feeling because, look, he's been in situations where he's been replaced before, and it's been re he's been replaced because his production has not been up to par, and he, he hasn't been the answer for those teams. And he knows that long-term, he wasn't the answer for this football team. He, he knew that this day was coming. But, but the worst thing in the world, I don't care if it's football or anything else, is to know that you have performed, to know that you have done everything that you possibly can and not just no inside, but you know that everyone else knows it, too, because the statistics are there, the evidence is there, that you've done your job, and then you know that because something sounds like it was already predetermined, you still aren't good enough. That, I don't care if it's football or not, there's no other reaction you can expect him to have. That's the one he's supposed to have, so you have to respect it. Yeah, it, it was, again, it got a lot of reaction yesterday. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't... It wasn't what you expected to hear him say. One way or another, we'll see how to a place. They have a bye this weekend. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content.